guys, Game Boss here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I received a PS3 Super Slim console, but I noticed it has some issues. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. As you can see, it defaults to displaying in 480p when turned on. Let's try to modify the video display settings by selecting 720p. Turn 80i, turn 80p, all at once. Let's wait a moment. And it reverts back to 280p. This indicates that there is a more function with the console's display function. Therefore, we must remove the motherboard to diagnose the issue. Okay, so let's remove it. The seal is intact, which means that the console has never been opened or repaired. Therefore, I believe the issue is due to it being left unused for too long, causing significant damage to its views. This could be a major problem. So, let's go on. This is an NPX001 motherboard, and as you can see, it looks quite new. The thermal paste has dried up, and the battery on the motherboard is also dead. First, remove the motherboard battery. From my experience, there are three common reasons for a PS3 console not displaying an image. First, the fuse next to the HDMI chip is blown. Second, the HDMI integrated chip is internally damaged. And third, the GPU chip is damaged. Let's start by checking the fuse. There are two sets of fuses next to the HDMI chip, each with four pairs of solder points. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Making a total of eight pairs of solder points. If any pair of these points is disconnected, it would directly result in the interruption of the PS3 HDMI signal. First, let's use a multimeter to test if they are connected. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no! Try again. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Let's try again. Oh no. After testing, the first set is normal, but the second set has two pairs of disconnected solder points. 
So this is where the problem lies. Now we just need to connect these points with the where, and that should resolve the issue. Okay, next point. Okay, finally let's wash it. And uh, paste it. Okay. 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 Finally, we all need to do is install it back and conduct the final test. Replace the battery.
Let's turn on it. Four ATP. Display settings. Video output settings. HDMI. Custom. 720p. Turn API. Yes! It's great! The repair was successful. Let's play again. You can see that. 720p. It means we did it. Yes, everything is okay. If you like my channel, please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.